Good morning again. I've just restarted this recording. I was talking about the Virata and I'm going to put on a small section of the 1989 Virat Puja where Shimariji explains the Virat. Then I'm going to put on a Virat Puja from 1991 called Practice the Qualities of the Virata. I hope that this will be loud enough. If not, you may be able to listen to these at a later date. So I will try first with the 1989 Virata Puja talks. in the land of Sri Krishna. As you know, in the growth of Sri Vishnu's manifestation, he comes into ten incarnations and ultimately he manifests himself as Virat. Virat is the of the being which can call all as God Almighty. So the whole central nervous system is worked through by Sri Krishna as Vishnu then all these incarnations, then Sri Krishna and ultimately as Virat. This is the development of our brain. And when we are worshipping Virat, we have to know that within us also we have got the manifestation of this power of Virat. That manifestation which we have, we can call it as Virat, if Sri Krishna is Mahavirat. You all know about Virat much more than I can tell you today because it's the whole, it's the totality. And the totality of everything, if that is Virat, then that is in your brain. But reality is in your heart. Now we're going to go to the qualities the practice of the qualities of the Virat. manifestation, he comes into ten incarnations and ultimately he manifests himself as Virat. Virat is the brain of the being 
which can call as God Almighty. So the whole central nervous system is worked through by Sri Krishna as Vishnu, then all these incarnations, then Sri Krishna and ultimately as Virat. This is the development of our brain. And when we are worshipping Virat, we have to know that within us also we have got the manifestation of this power of Virat. That manifestation which we have, we can call it as Virat, if Sri Krishna is Mahavirat. You all know about Virat much more than I can tell you today because it's the whole, it's the totality. And the totality of everything, if that is Virat, then that is in your brain. But reality is in your heart. So the totality you may see, you may witness. The reality is the subtlety behind it. So the brain which is not ruled by the heart, which is not nourished by the heart, is a very dangerous thing. Because it creates extroversion and such a person who is without any heart tries to do things, becomes very ruthless and can be very dangerous. It could be the other way also within us. That if we allow our heart to rule us, only live with our emotions and not to use our rationality, then we can become really very dangerous people to ourselves. In the sense, we become lethargic, we uh, become indulgent into wrong sort of things. And today, what one feels that in America, there is more dominance of the left side than of the right. Right side is our attention. On the right side of attention is can say is the deliverer of God Almighty. So now when we have to talk of the totality, when we are part and parts of the totality, and now we are awakened to that existence of ours as the part and parcel of the whole, then we have to realize to become the whole, we have to do something about it. Especially in the land of Sri Krishna, we have to work out this tremendous task of creating Viratas out of such yogis. After going through the various experiences of American Sahaja Yoga, I have reached a conclusion that we have to talk more frankly about things than we have been talking before. Why there is such a failure of Sahaja Yoga in this great country? Why there are so many seekers? The main point is that we do not realize that the left side is overpowering this country very much. There are people who are active, but the percentage is very low. Because of too much of affluence, too much of freedom, the idea of what's wrong in anything. People are going towards shamelessness, uh, immoral life, self-indulgent. And this self-indulgence, to protect that, people always develop a kind of an ego which has no dynamism in it. So now the problem lies with Sahaja Yogis, not with Sahaja Yoga as such. 
but you see that the land is not so fertile. And here you have to work very hard. The responsibility of all the search yogis in America is to go deep. You can see wherever the land is not fertile, the trees go very deep down. They dig very deep into the Mother Earth for the sap to be sucked in and the same way they grow very high because the strength of their deepening gives them this great height. So they grow very tall and also they are very deep. In the same way the Sahaja Yogis of America have to work hard because there is so much superficiality and so much of frivolousness and also no meaning to their lives. They have no meanings at all and they are just frittering away their lives with all nonsensical ideas about their emotions and their love and all those things. So what we need today are Sahaja Yogis who are right-sided, those who will produce results, those who will be dynamic. They don't have to worry that somebody is right-sided and he'll become right-sided. Actually, that is what is needed today. Unless and until you have people who are dynamic, uh, we cannot work it out. It's a reaction in this country as well as in England, in many countries who dominated other people. Like you see in this place, uh, which was actually originally belonged to some tribes of Indians and the English, the Spanish and all these Europeans came, killed them and occupied here. It's a highway robbery, absolutely highway robbery, because of their arrogance and their uh, aggressiveness. They could not see that they were doing such a horrible thing. I mean, why uh, call any names of Hitler? They are even worse than Hitler. Because at least Hitler was taken to task, he was condemned, and people know that it was a mistake. But what about those who came all the way from there and killed so many people here and nicely uh, having a very nice time everywhere as great Americans, and now they are trying to show off everywhere. Actually, it's such a sinful thing that is done that all these souls which have died, I think, have possessed them. And now today, America is on the left-hand side. The right-hand side of Americans is finished now. They are on the left-hand side, guilty, feeling guilty. They are taken to indulgences. Once you go to the right side, so you are very disciplined and... Uh, you become very ascetic by temperament, I should say, and you want to dominate others and you want to capture. But today the situation of England and America is just the same. In England the same thing I find with Sir is they are just lovey-dovey types, you see, and all they love me and love me and love me. And I just don't understand. What's this going on? They all love me. Uh, they'll bring flowers for me. Finished. Is this the way we are going to work out Sir Yoga in that England and in this America? Mother, I love you very much. So what? So to become one part and parcel of the whole, a drop has to become the ocean. You have to become great people. You have to be responsible. And this lovey-dovey business that you have has to go out of your mind completely. Otherwise, Sir Yoga cannot work out in these two countries and you'll be cursed one after another. There are shocks after shocks that are coming to this country as well as to India. But people are not learning any lessons from them. Still, it is all right, we get this disease, uh, all right, then we glorify it. If we uh, are suffering from ecological difference, still we are glorified. If we are using too much of machinery out of balance, still we are glorified. Because they just want self-indulgence. Just for self-indulgence, they don't want to see the point that what is going wrong with this 
country is that that they do not see anything that is reality and the reality though it is in the heart though it works in the heart it has to act this has to act and if it does not act this kind of a passive behavior is not going to help you at this old age of mine i'm traveling from places to places and i'm doing so much now let us think about it what have we done for such those who see you see you as sometimes as just some apes with disabled hairs and something that kind of a thing this is the report i have from people who came to your centers and things that they are a set of cps you see just like that. so the first thing a surgeon has to do has to make up something of his personality in america is very uh they are studying they are out of job they are doing this that 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 sort of people are not going to help surgeon at all they will be like it is on surgeon if you really want to do something you have to become something you have to study you have to become something you have to have some sort of a, a degree diploma something attached to you or have to mean something hippies cannot run such yoga in america they may run better in india but not here so one has to realize that what is gone wrong with us is that we are now following a, a very subtle way of the same trends that we have taken after realization open the door after realization we think that we are realized souls that we have become yogis now that we are realized souls but one should see that we have become realized souls no doubt but whatever bindings we had before coming to sar yoga have become subtler they have not expressed themselves as lights just we believe that we are such beings we believe that we have vibrations and also we can feel the vibrations but still we have not reached that state where we have become the totality we have to still grow and if you are settled down with your vibrations and thinking that you are all right you are sadly mistaken whatever were our conditionings before coming to sar yoga say you were uh, a hippie so the enlightenment has come but then the idea of this love business is there supposing you were a businessman so the enlightenment has come to you and you think that mother should help you in your business that's what it is supposing now if you were unmarried and you are married in such a way then you want that your marriage should be successful in such a way if you uh, there has been a problem in your health or something like that then you have become a settler person that you think i ask help from mother for that but we do not think that what have we contributed to such we had certain things which we thought were wrong maybe that but in such a way we do not see those things are with us still continuing with us to become virata we have to really examine ourselves without any anger malice or anything but see for ourselves i know people who are small minded who have jealousies and their jealousy is continuing supposing there is a good musician they lot appreciate if the other person is a musician 
he will not appreciate, he will not encourage that person that really, I am a musician, he is also a musician, let me help him. So the small mindedness that existed before still becomes in a glorified way. The person will think that all right, I am a musician and I sing very well and uh, I am singing mother's place. But anybody else who is singing will not be appreciated to that extent as you should expect that you are a part and parcel of the whole. This hand, if it feels hurt, the another hand immediately helps it. In the whole body, you see, the system is so totally connected. As soon as you eat food, the digestive system starts working. But we should watch ourselves. If you have to become deeper, we have to watch ourselves, where are we lacking? Now how does the tree grow? I have told you many times the story that there is a little cell at the end of the root and it knows. And it knows one purpose that it has to become a tree. So it goes round, it sees a boulder or something, stone, goes round it, doesn't fight it. Because ultimately what we have to achieve is to become the tree. So we have to keep that in view, that we have to become the tree and not some sort of a small little frog here and there croaking about Sahaja No, that's not going to work out. And this is what I find also very true about uh, people in, say, England, same thing. The leaders are fighting, the leaders are trying to find out ways and methods, how to improve the quality of surgeries. But it's the surgeries who have to know that the responsibility is theirs. They have to grow, they have to become piratas. And this is America, where I told you, is the place of Sri Krishna, where Sri Krishna became the virat. Unless and until you see for yourself, that we have to do this, we have to become this. We are still busy with our with little silly problems. It's a vicious circle. As soon as you start worrying about your silly problems and your old stuff still becoming glorified in Sahaja Yoga, then you find the vicious circle starts working. It doesn't achieve anything. It doesn't give you good chances. It doesn't give you confidence. It's such a thing, you know, it's like a packaging as they call it. But as soon as you decide, no, I'm going to do it. You people are surgeries. You know all about Kundalini. You know all about awakening. You know all about higher stages of attainment. You all, everyone is capable of giving realization to people. You know where the thing is stuck. Everything you know. But now, just think about it. How many of you have been able to do something about it? When people see you, their idea about you is very poor. They think that you are stuck up with your wives, so the wife is very dominating. So this is happening. Suddenly you go off. You see your child worried about the child. You sometimes I'm surprised that once they are married, they have a child. Then they become nothing but the parents of the child finished. So the wife is finished. Then the child becomes it. The blessings become the bindings. So you have to watch within yourself that we are here for liberation, for complete freedom. But in a subtle way, all these things go on binding you. And you are attached to it. And you don't know 
how they are still tagging you down. Don't allow you to fly. They don't give you the freedom. That is your own right to have. So even if I make an aeroplane, I do everything, put the fuel into it, I say everything, but it doesn't want to fly. So what do you do with such an aeroplane? It doesn't want to fly. This sort of a situation is there. And this situation makes you so limited and so dwarfy. How will you grow? Unless and until you grow and you show that in your day-to-day -day life, into your personality, into everything, I assure you nobody is going to be impressed by you. Sergio Bhai is not going to work by advertisement nor by my photographs. It's going to work by your work, by your responsibility. By your shouldering Sahaja Yoga, it's your responsibility to spread Sahaja Yoga and to establish it. But first of all, your shoulder should be strong. You are still out of job. You are still something, somebody hanging in the air. You are still somebody who will not even look at you. Then how can you carry on your shoulders? So first thing is to bring yourself inside as well as outside. But such a vicious circle, I tell you, if you do not go deep into yourself, you cannot also get the outside. So it works hand in hand. As soon as you start building yourself inside, you'll be amazed how things will work out, how you'll become dynamic, how you'll become great. <clears throat> but you get involved into things which are very small and transitory. So as I told you before, we are seeking the eternal. So the transitory things are to be only used very temporarily. What we need is not so important. If you can understand this thing clearly, that we still are not free, not detached from all the things we had before, Sahaja Yoga, and they have become subtler and subtler and subtler. Uh, we are still only using Sahaja Yoga for that purpose and not for spreading the light. So what's going to happen? This is absolutely, absolutely to be really to be understood within yourself. Sometimes my lectures, you see, are a little harsh. People think uh, that mother had to say this thing. This is also out of my love for you and out of my love for this country. You have to really see to yourself, what are we? Where are we? We are not going to end up because surgeries we had were subnormal in the society. If you see the gurus, how they spread themselves, though they are false, they are useless, but everybody knows about somebody who comes up in two years, two months' time, all over the world you can hear about that person. What they do, they go and First of all, see the people who are successful or prominent in the city. They never bother about people who are drug addicts or who are suffering from diseases. No, nothing to it. They, are, they have no business with them. They'll just attack the people who are very successful, who are very rich. Because they are on top of the society. So they'll go and meet people and make contacts with them and ask them and this and that. And then they call them for the program, give them all the importance, everything. Then people start thinking, oh God, what a great thing it is to be here. They pamper their ego a little bit. This and that's how they spread. But there's no reality in it. There's nothing, nothing special about it. It's all useless, it's all artificial. But that is how they sell themselves. Though we do not want to sell ourselves, we have to know that Unless and until we have some 
back to politics. People are not going to look at us because whatever has happened is within ourselves and nobody sees the light. It's like a light which is burning, which is covered completely. So I have seen that. I went to Colombia. In Colombia, you'll be amazed that people had never known me, they had never heard my name. But I don't know why. But the crowds were so much that I couldn't enter into the compound. And with some or other, I was pushed into it. Then in the hall was impossible. People were hanging on, I thought they were hanging from the top, just sitting on the thing to watch me or not. So many people in every direction, in every height, I found people there. I didn't know how to settle them. But they listened to me very carefully, they stayed. Two days we had a program, two days the crowds were there. And then when they had to follow on, they came. Next day they disappeared. Same thing in Greece, same thing in Turkey. So there's definitely something wrong with us. Now there's a course coming up, people are trying to do the course business, but one should know it is not knowledge without love. It is love and knowledge. So how you talk to them, how you deal with them is there. But your dynamism is going to impress them. You can see the film we saw yesterday in which the music was there. Now what was it? There the energy was dynamic. The energy was dynamic the music and everything, and that was showing. So, you see, you got engrossed into it. So the movement of that energy, the dynamism of that energy, really got you engrossed. But to be afraid that you'll become right-sided is nonsensical. Now you are in the center. How can you become right-sided? <laughs> this kind of argument is only to support lethargy. They are not to have any discipline. I was surprised that in Shudi camp, where we have established a school for meditation, people come every weekend just to spend the weekend. They get up at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, whenever they feel like. They are on holidays in Shudi camp. And two days they will stay there without any meditation, without it. We have come to mother's house, finished. Mother has to do all the job for them. I mean, for a son, it is minimum of minimum that they should get up early in the morning, have their bath and sit down for pujas. It's a, it's a common thing. All Indians do that way. It's a practice. Suddenly this country or these countries have gone into a kind of a lethargic, nonsensical life, otherwise this country also used to do the same thing. And sleeping also, you have to sleep early if you want to. But one has to think that we have to change our lifestyle. We have to change our attitudes. So many things, see, like I said, simple things, like I said, the day you want to wash your hair, put a lot of oil your hair and then wash. It will become bald. Imagine all bald of Sajo is walking. <laughs> They'll think your mother has so many hair and what about your hair? <laughs> in food also. Too much, like I don't know here what is the situation, but in England I find they take so much of tea. All the time the tea is, the kettle is on the thing. I mean, people are amazed when they, people come to Kantati Pura also in India. We don't take tea so many times. I mean, twice at the most. The whole day people want tea there. They don't, don't understand how can they go on drinking tea at one o'clock in the night. It's like the alcohol has become subtler. Settle down nicely. We are having cup of tea. In England, very common. 
sit down nicely, cup of tea. What work have you done that you are settling down like that? Then whenever they'll come, <sighs> as if they have dug up something or they have done the English channel, they'll come and even on the television you see people, they come down. <sighs> I don't understand. You'll never find any Indian doing that. After all, in that heat also. He'll never say that. Because you think, 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 think too much. Just think. Don't do anything about it. Like you fight, you see. Like a fight. Tomorrow is Mother's Puja. All right, we'll have this, 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 this fight. And the Puja is not there. Why? It's in the fight. <laughs> and anything that is before your realization, like people have an idea like this, how to avoid work. See, labor saving. Labor saving is a very great asset of the Western people. So the labor saving, how they will do? Suppose you say, please telephone to such a person. Mother, I think he may not be there. Mama, will you telephone and find out? So the explanation comes from the brain. It may not. So nothing can be achieved. So first the labor saving was that, oh, this is, this is anti-culture, we should be, this is so bad, everything is so bad, we should start a very natural life, we should eat a very natural thing, and that we should become primitive and all that. So, from that, if you grow from that area, if you grow into Sahaja Yoga, you become subtler. So the subtler things that they become is this way, that now as it is, you see, uh, we should not uh, do too much of everything. It's too much. It is too much. If you talk to somebody about Sahaja Yoga, they say, it's too much for me. And you have no brain or what is it? What is too much? You can't take it? Oh, it's too much. It's a very common experience with me. That when I talk to people, they would say, it's too much. I mean, your brain, is it a limited brain or what is it that you can't listen to me, what I'm trying to tell you? And once you start developing this kind of attitude, the nourishment cannot reach you. Supposing the trees say, oh, it's too much, then what are we going to do? <laughs> Nothing is too much. I have to know. I have to take all the nourishment. I have to become something. I have to do such a lot. What have I done? Nothing so far. Never be satisfied with yourself. I mean, some people who saw my program, they were all shocked. How mother is going to do it? I said, I know I'm going to do it. If I have to do it, I'll do it. We'll leave this video here and settle back down into a meditative state. We'll do this for a few minutes in silence.
Let us pray to Sri Matiji that we will be dynamic, loving and compassionate and be our own guru, full of contentment and peace. Shreish Mataji. Let's sing the last mantra of the three great mantras. Om Twameva Sakshat, Sri Kauki Sakshat, Sri Sarastrara Swamanini Moksha Pradainini Mataji Sri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha Jesh Mataji Thank you for all meditating this morning. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>